Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Just Breathe God and I am a nutritional coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five natural remedies that I think you all need to have in your winter medicine cabinet. It is cold AF outside and everyone around me seems to be getting sick but not I. And that is because I've been taking precaution with plenty of herbal remedies. So I'm gonna break this video down into five parts. Part one is about prevention. So how to stop your body from getting sick in the first place, which is really important. Part two is gonna be all about at the onset of getting this sickness. Part three is gonna be about sore throats and how to manage those horrible symptoms. Part four is about high fevers and temperatures. And part five is gonna be all about recovery. If you are like me and you haven't got sick once, this winter, then adaptogens is a great place to start. Everyone needs to have adaptogens in their medicine cabinet. Now, just like it says on the name, adaptogens are herbs that simply help the body adapt and increase immune resistance. And a great example is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a root with quite a woody texture and it's great at preventing illnesses. And it also helps when you're recovering from an illness or a serious medical treatment. Now, as soon as you start to notice any cold or flu-like symptoms, get some ginger into your body ASAP. It's anti-inflammatory, it helps to relieve sore throat symptoms, and it can actually kill viruses that cause colds in the first place. Now you can have ginger as a tea, which tastes absolutely amazing with a bit of lemon and honey. Just steep it in some water for an hour or two, or you can just peel and chew on it raw if you're a gangster like that. Nobody likes a sore throat. They are extremely inconvenient. It can stop you from breathing comfortably, from sleeping comfortably, and even eating comfortably, which is not a good place to be in, especially if you're someone like me that loves food. So if sore throats have been bugging you this winter, then you need to get familiar with something called astringents. Astringents are gonna be your best friend. They basically contract soft tissue in the body to stop or at least reduce the blood flow. So for example, if you have a swollen throat, something like rose tea will really help shrink that down. And even lime will help. You just have to squeeze some fresh lime juice into one cup of hot water and drink that two to three times a day. Super simple, but very, very effective. And you don't need any pharmaceuticals or nasty chemicals to be entering your body to look after it. For fevers, your body is gonna need something that is very soothing and also anti-inflammatory. So cinnamon is the perfect thing for this situation. It's antimicrobial, which means that it kills all the bad bacteria. So it will definitely comfort your throat, head and sinus. All you have to do is boil one cup of water and add in a twill of fresh cinnamon, or you can use a pinch of ground cinnamon, totally up to you. Fevers can be horrible. They can leave your body feeling totally run down. It can make you overtired. It can leave your muscles feeling super achy and tender. And sometimes it can be really difficult to sleep when your body feels like this. So if you do struggle with sleep, if you have a fever or a high temperature, have a cup of cinnamon tea before you go to bed. Now, lastly, when you are on the road to recovery from any sickness or illness, nurturing your lymphatic system is super important. Herbs like burdock root, red clove, and powder arco are really going to help the lymphatic system drain all of those nasty toxins out of your body. I'd recommend taking these all as a herbal tea for the best results so steep them in water for a good couple hours to get all of those nutrients out and don't be scared to have these on a regular basis because they're all very high in iron so they're only going to do great things for your body. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys found that useful. A couple things I definitely want you all to take away from this is that pharmaceutical medication is not gonna help your body prevent or recover from any illness. Prevention is super, super important. So nurturing your immune system and just making sure that your body doesn't even get to the point where it's sick is a really, really good thing to do. However, things happen, people get sick and that's all good. But if you do get sick, try not to draw for the pharmaceutical medication as your first option. It is fully loaded with chemicals and toxins and the side effects can be 
really, really horrible and very taxing on the body. So look to more natural remedies because they do exist and they do work. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and check out my last video where I made a huge announcement about a workshop that I am doing in 2019, all about herbs and female wellness and nutrition and all of that good stuff. It's gonna be an amazing workshop and I would love to see some of you guys there. I'm currently working on a few different projects so I don't know when I'm gonna upload next but be sure to tune in on Thursdays for my YouTube live streams they've been really really interesting so far and the feedback has been amazing from you guys so I'll see you on Thursday for a YouTube live stream um yeah enjoy the rest of your day Mwah.